Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Secret of Mana. We are resuming our trip into the spooky forest so that we can... Um, uh, they want us to go here. Um, I guess I can't 100% remember the story reasons, but um, looks like Sulu is in here. So, oh no, we might be in trouble here because we are having some trouble getting out of the corner. So I know we are going uh, through the forest um, because this is where the witch lives and she has been um, kind of terrorizing the townsfolk of Pandora and um, looks like here is where um, Sulu went off to so oh ho I knew you'd come thank you okay let's go we have to save Dyluk. Sulu joined again. Yay! Okay, so now we have a full party. But we are in need of sustenance, so we are going to give Big Spur a, um, a piece of candy. That'll restore all of Big Spur's health, and we'll be sitting pretty good there. Um, so... We will, you know, I, th yeah, I'm pretty sure I leveled up the sword to two. So, yep, yep, there's two charge marks on there. So I am going to equip this, nah, I'll probably just stick with the sword for now since it's stronger. Um, but we will, oops, all right, we got to take care of that Chobin Hood down there. Because otherwise he's going to be causing us a whole bunch of problems. Alright, here we go. Boom. Alright. Now we are free to take on this mushboom. And yeah, they this forest is packed full of uh full of nefarious enemies who will do us harm if they are given the chance, so we need to be careful. Especially early on in this game when we don't have any access to like healing um I don't know healing magic you know it's it's just a little bit more dangerous of a game and I am actually very very worried that Sulu is not going to be able to withstand damage here um, I don't know how many hits I don't know if that was just one hit that took off 34 damage but that's just so much it's crazy we gotta be careful okay so, two treasure boxes here. If one of them has a trap, I'm not getting the other one. Oh, okay, good. So, some candy, and let's um, let's use a piece of candy on Sulu, so that she doesn't get um, wasted another hit. Oh, 34 GP. Not bad. So, uh, that was a rare instance where there are two separate treasure boxes dropped by enemies, and neither of them had... Um, had a trap in them, so that's great. Okay, so Casserole is Moogled currently, and I, I really like the the Moogle spell in this game. It cracks me up because um, anyone who's a fan of the Final Fantasy series would probably recognize the Moogles. Um, this game was developed by SquareSoft, who also developed um, Final Fantasies. I know they don't, um, they, well, they're Square Enix now, um, or did they change again? I guess I'm not 100% sure, but, um, but yeah, so this was, um, one of Squaresoft's properties, that's what they were called back in, um, the 1990s, so, um, yeah, it's, it's just, anyway, I just like seeing Moogles in this game, because, I greatly enjoy the Final Fantasy series as well, so it's just, it's a lot of fun seeing the crossover. Alright, oh. Um, let's, let's take care of that, uh, that Chobin Hood. Oh no, okay. Oh, could they just focus on that Blat, please? Okay. Oh. Uh, Alright. I think we'll be, yep, yeah, we'll be sitting good now. 
don't have to worry about these mushrooms too much anymore. It seemed like they had a pretty good ratio of being able to turn us into, um, or sorry, not turn us into anything, um, putting us to sleep back in, um, like around the Poros area, but now that we're a little stronger, they seem to have a little bit, uh, a little bit more trouble taking care of us. So, let's see, we are, yep, so we were over there earlier, I think that's where we hit that that switch and it caused the mountains to connect. Uh, and then, in case you didn't see what I did back there, I had to take out the axe to destroy those statues um, because they um, they were preventing us from going through, um, or like basically advancing through the woods here. And that's the main reason why you would need to do um, to. Uh, to go to the Gaia's naval um, cave first is because you need to get the axe in order to proceed through here. So even if you wanted to, um, even if you wanted to go to the forest before you did um, the Gaia's naval dungeon um, to recruit the sprite into your party, um, to my knowledge, you have no way to do that just because of needing the axe. Uh, yep, a little bit of info in case anybody was wondering why I chose to go to Gaia's Naval first. And, I mean, that is, um, I think that's where Jima told us to go first, um, when we were leaving the Water Palace. He says, yeah, head on over to Gaia's Naval, something about an underground palace. It's kind of hard to keep track of who says what information, because we have... We have talked to uh, multiple important story figures, um, so yeah, it, it's just a little hard to keep track of everything, um, especially on um, different uh, different days of the playthrough. You know, I um, I I don't record a huge amount of episodes in any given time when I'm when I'm playing. Oftentimes, I like to end by a save point, um, like I would do. In Earthbound as well, I like to pause an episode around when I was wanting to save, unless, um, unless like I was in the middle of a dungeon in Earthbound and I wanted to um, keep playing and and I knew that I was going to keep playing, then I'm fine pausing an episode, you know, not near a save point. Otherwise, it's just kind of nice to be able to to keep you know, the info together of where I'm at, what I'm doing, because, uh, you know, if you do a lot of stuff, sometimes you just get a little confused on if there's anything that you missed or you just don't want to get the details wrong when you're when you're commentating. It is... I don't know. Uh, that's just me. Ah! I really gotta stop getting moogled. I... Ah, I cannot seem to... Um, <laughs> To hold my shape together here. I just, I keep getting transformed. Alright. Well, we're doing pretty good here. The biggest threat I think here is probably the werewolves with, um, with those eyeballs that can turn you into moogles and also spawn chobin hoods. They're a close second. Okay, how many times are they gonna cast Cure Water? A lot, apparently. Ugh. Okay, so these worlds don't have much range, so we will just fight them at a distance here. It's a lot safer. So she's somehow able to punch them from here, but I'm having trouble. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Ooh. Yeah, that was painful. Hopefully, um, hopefully we're able to get to a cup of life noodles inside. Because um, we don't really have other means of reviving Sulu right now. It, um, yeah, it just it gets a little dicey here, especially considering um, Sulu is wearing. Oh, wait a second. So. Oh, okay. So, apparently. Because I remember selling that Kung Fu suit. So, apparently. The kung, like, she won't rejoin your party with another kung fu suit. 
you need to just not sell the one that you're given, so I guess I must have just assumed that it was free stuff and that it would be um, replenished when she rejoined. How wrong I was. Alright, well, no use crying over uh, spilled milk here. We will just we will just keep going and oh, we will persevere. Oh no, I didn't even see the, I didn't even see the beam. Okay. Oh, uh, I think. Oh wait, nope, nope. Um, Big Spur is is back in action. Okay, good. And we got the I Spy and those two Chavanuns, and we should be making a lot of GP here. So. Uh, if we are able to purchase a cup of life noodles, uh, is that what it is? Nope, cup of witches. I know I, I covered that already. Um, it's just when there's multiple games from the same time period that have a cup of something that restores your characters, it's kind of hard to keep it all together. All right, let's keep, let's keep going at it here. Uh, Big Spur reaches level eight. Very good. That'll be helpful. Alright, so we are going to charge up our um, our sword to level 2 here, and... Ooh, okay, good. I was worried that I was going to get moogled. Not today! I mean, not by this eye spy. There will be other eye spies to cast moogle, don't worry. Right. Yeah, that one got hit with a sword and arrows and it like just exploded. That is, that's very interesting. Alright, what do we got over in this end? Uh okay. So werewolf gets whacked. So uh, as we have seen, these werewolves are quite the threat, and we need to be cautious around them. Whoa. Okay. So cure water. Yeah, they they really, really like casting cure water, which I guess it keeps their partner's um, HP up, so I can't really say I blame them. Just gotta be careful around them, because the werewolves, especially um, for enemies so early in the game, they're very powerful. Okay, so, um, how's it going? Um, you are good to go now, but they're not saying much to me. We've come to help, huh? Ah. Where's Dylek? What? Um, maybe with the witch. It's hopeless. These guys seem like zombies. Just like the people in Pandora. You can bet the witch is behind this. Are you going to witch's lair? Go up to next floor when three people step onto platform, uh, bridge. Platform? Let's go see it. Alright. So uh, we're gonna go see that platform, but not before Nico tells us about, um, getting captured. So, um... Okay, 12.55 GP. Oh, look at this. So, um, Nico is selling Cup of Wishes, so we will get that. Um, probably pass on the bandana. I think the headgear is probably better. Um, and we'll get the wristband, and we will get the hair ribbon. So that'll, you know, it's, it's not going to be a huge amount of defense for Sulu. But it'll be something, you know, it'll be better than nothing at all. Uh, we will also, while we're here, we might as well um, uh, fill up on candy and chocolate. It's kind of funny because chocolate is candy, technically. So uh, it's, it's kind of funny calling them different things, but uh, that's alright. Um, 60 GP. It's quite a bit, but we'll be fine, you know. Once we fight the boss here, we should have some more money, and we'll be able to get better gear at the next place that um, the next place that sells upgrades. Oh, how much? Zero to three. That's better than it was before. And zero to one. Not great, but it's better than what it was before. We'll see if she'll make it through the next boss. I guess, you know. Who can really say? Uh, but as long as at least one person makes it through, then we'll still we'll still get the credit. So uh, yeah. Okay, so now we are going to buy 
one more piece of candy because I want to have full capacity going into this fight. Uh, I don't want to spoil what the boss is. You know, I'm sure I'm sure anybody watching this, there's a good chance you've played the game before um, and you know what the boss is, but just in case you haven't played it, I will um, I'll keep it I'll keep it under wraps. Is it, it? It is a scary looking one. I I will admit it is very dangerous looking. So we are. Oh no! We got moogled again. Oh, those. You just you don't have enough time to react, or at least I don't. <laughs> Maybe there are people out there who have better reflexes than I do, and in fact that's you know probably not so much of a stretch. Oh, uh, we are going to. Oh ah! So it seems like. Maybe I don't even need to get hit by a beam. I think that I just have to like get touched by them and then it'll the Moogle effect will activate. So uh, yeah, that's very dangerous and we gotta be careful. Ah. It's very interesting that they used cure water on the Chobin hood and not the eye spy. But we need to equip something that's gonna be a little more reliable. So the spear will have two more attack power. That'll that's gonna help, and it'll have a little bit more range. So she won't need to get so close to the enemies um, when. Uh, oh, so hopefully there's not a trap in this box. Let's see. Oh, punch glove. Okay, so Kazril got hit, but for some reason that Chabin Hood was not affected by the punch glove, which I guess in the end it. Um, didn't really, you know, impact the results of that fight, but what do you do? Uh, another treasure box. Let me guess a trap. Nope, just candy. Hey, that works. We'll take it. Uh, ah! Okay, that that's scary. We'll see if the moogling happens. Um, well, somebody leveled up. Sulu reaches level 7. That's helpful. Ah! Uh, okay. So, oh, we are gonna check out this room also. Looks like looks like some chairs, so we gotta be careful. These are some evil chairs, and we are not going to be pushed around by them. The chairs are for sitting, not attacking us. We 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 just want to be able to sit down on a nice, safe chair. That's all. That's so much to ask. Okay. Oh. Well, you know, not really sure how much uh, how much experience you get from those chairs, but I wager it's pretty good. But we are gonna go back here. I think there's. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Ha! I knew it. Yep, that's a pun. All right. Um. So we took care of them, and we push this button. It moves the wall there. So now we can get. Um, we can get through. Uh, I think we're, we should be about to the end of this, um, castle dungeon. Okay. So, yep, the music even changed when it, and that is a more upbeat, or, I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily more upbeat, but it's a little more high-pitched, or, ah, intense, I'll say, uh, of, like, the, the field theme. All right. Eleni the witch says, Phew, what noisy little children. See what you get. So she did some sort of uh, taunting pose to me and then ran through the door. We follow. Allow me the pleasure of sending you to Thanatos. What? No, don't. Anything but that. Alright. Dylock, Eleni, what have you done with him? What have I done? Well, I just sent him to the ruins in Pandora. My magic doesn't seem to work too well and I couldn't handle him. But Thanatos wanted him, so I sent him there. Thanatos? The head of a secret organization that intends to overthrow the kingdom. How could you? Tee hee hee, he's already dispatched most of the people in Pandora. All that's left is for Sir Thanatos to storm the castle from the ruins. Now, won't you be so kind as to feed yourselves to my cute little spiky? Um, no. Ugh. Alright, so... There's nothing yet, but looks like that gate's going up. Something might be coming out of the gate, and it is a... Uh... Whoa! It is a giant tiger. We have to be careful here. So, um... 
a good strategy for this fight is to just take the ball. Oh wait, I can't right now. Uh, get up. All right. So uh, you take the ball and then you're able. To... Oh no. Ah. Ah. Of course. So uh, this tiger does not mess around, as you can see. Um, Sulu has already been completely destroyed. We will just take the sword back and. Um, alright, all right, where are you going? What are you doing? So, uh, the thing about this boss as well is that it just, it makes you go unconscious all the time for some reason. And it is just very dangerous. So, um, because you can get attacked and not really have any, any means to defend yourself or even run away. So, um, you're just kind of a sitting duck. So... But with the bow and arrow, you're able to attack the spiky tiger when he's hiding up on the, the shelf there. Um, ooh. So we will go ahead and use candy here really quick. And so it looks like Big Spur is down for the count as well. So now it's just the main character. We shall see how we do against the rest of this fight. So we'll equip the arrows again, and maybe we... Nope! Ah! Okay, yeah, he's probably gonna get knocked unconscious. Oh, nope! So, we are going to... We don't want to get arrogant here. We want to keep um, keep putting on the pressure. I might as well... Uh, no, I'll keep the arrows equipped. Maybe that did more damage to him, too. Doesn't look like it. Uh, oh no! Stop casting fire breath! No! Okay, let's... Alright, hopefully this isn't a bad idea, but I'm gonna attack quick and then eat candy. Yep, there we go. There we go. I was a little worried about that, but it worked out, so we're not going to get too concerned. So Kazrael is unconscious. But, we're gonna... Keep going at it here, and... Oh no! So, where's he? Ah, of course. Well, that's crazy. How many times has he been knocked unconscious in this fight? That is... That's ridiculous. Okay. No! Okay. Alright, so... We have got to be close to winning this fight. Um... It's, it's not so bad, I don't think, if you are just trying to, you know, keep whatever character that you use as your main character alive. It's just mostly, um, you know, it's a lot harder to keep your other party members alive, especially at this point in the game. You just, you don't really have any supporting magic or anything like that. It's just, the fights just get a little bit more hectic, in my opinion. Other people might have an easier time with it. I'm not the authority on what bosses in the game are the easiest and which ones are the hardest. Uh, that's, that's just my experience. Alright, so we managed to beat the Spiky Tiger. Very nice. That The Spiky Tiger is in, like one of the bosses that um, gives me the most trouble in this game. And like I said, I think it's just because you don't have access to any magic yet. Um, so, way to go! We did it! Woo! Uh, and we got a Boomerang's Orb. Not bad, not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip the sword again, because I just, I just kind of like having the sword equipped. So, um, there's the witch. Get her. Alright, what do you say? Uh, Shriek, please forgive me. So, alright, Eleni says, Sorry, the magical herbs that grow in this forest have withered. I have been trading the villagers for Thanatos' herbs. From now on, I'll simply be a normal elderly lady and live peacefully. If you're looking for that other kid, he's at the ruins south of Pandora. You can take what's in the treasure chest. I don't need it anymore. The orb in the underground palace? You need to use the magic of ice. But I don't have any more magical power left. So, I don't know. It To me, it doesn't really seem like the witch is sorry. She's basically like, well, I can't use magic anymore, so I guess I'm just going to be an old lady now. Um, I don't know. That, that to me, says that if she had magic, she would still be, um, using it 
and um, terrorizing the villagers and just being a, a menace. So I don't know. But I guess we're going to let her go. Okay, we'll use the magic rope. And... Oh wait, no, we cannot use the magic rope here. So uh, I guess with that, I will end this episode. And if you enjoyed it, please join me on the next one. Thank you.